All right, so we're switching it up this week. We're at Glory Gang Gym. Owner's name is Caleb, super good guy. And you guys know Corey, you've probably seen him around. Corey's an IFBB pro. We got a brutal back and by workout. Let's see if we can get through it all. Oh yeah, we're going, <laughs> we're going to because we got this. Four by tens from pull up. Two sets wide. Yep. Two sets close. Yep. And then we're gonna superset hammer curl. And we're gonna do a two second hold up top, okay? Why is tension so important? Okay, so time under tension, anybody can just rep out weight. Right. When you're doing real strength, you're gonna do negatives, gonna do holds. You're gonna be hitting different muscles and fibers in there that you've never even used before. That's right. Fast twitch, slow twitch, gonna make a huge difference. I wanna tell you guys, the bigger you get, the harder these damn pull-ups are gonna get. <laughs> in the decade you've been training, did you always use tension or when in your journey did you did you pick that up from This somebody? is actually new to me, probably the last two years and that's when I've changed my whole physique. Before it was always lifting too heavy, not growing, all kinds of injuries. And then now time under tension, using the right weight, the right reps, that's when I really started changing and growing. So see, so so many young guys follow me. Yeah. And they want to come in and they want to fucking bench and yes. they got that ego. If the reps suck, why are you doing it? Yep. When really it's that tension, it's that real it's those contractions yep. that make that create the aesthetics. I would say I lift less weight than a lot of people think. I can lift heavy as fuck, but you know, I wanna just go out there and just lift the right weight, you know? Right. Have you always been leaner? I've always been lean, so I was the super tall, skinny guy in high school, so I think I weighed 170 or 175 senior year. Mm -hmm. So I was a skinny guy, I always had abs, but everybody told me if you put on muscle, you could probably start competing. So the first thought of me competing was wearing a Speedo and getting on stage. I was like, no way I'm ever doing that. A year later, did my first teen show, placed really good. Here we are 10 years later. 10 years. You yep. want to be a master at something? Yep. You want to be good at something? You put in the time. Right? It's going to take a lot of time. It's going to take right. your whole life to do it. We're going to do behind the neck pull downs. So check these mag grips out, you guys. I love these. So you grip a little different on here, and the thing is, you you still feel it in your forearms, but it helps you isolate your back a lot more. It just makes the gripping a lot easier on your hands without using reps. We're gonna try to go behind the neck, and with these, we're gonna do about 12 reps. You don't wanna pull it down to your back. You wanna keep the tension. Pause about right there. Mm -hmm. Big stretch, squeeze right there. People say all the time, don't do behind the neck. Yeah. Right? Okay. So there's a difference between jerking it down yeah. and doing very controlled yep. like you just did. If you're going slow and controlled, this is gonna, here, turn around. This is gonna specifically focus on this inner back and these traps right here. So if you wanna build that, once I get in a stringer, if he was, you can see these working. If you're going too heavy and jerking, you're probably gonna hurt right. yourself doing these. Right there. So go all the way up. And he's gonna pause when he gets to be about right there. You don't need to go any further. This is what we're focusing on. Good squeeze. We are gonna go into rope pulls next. So we got this long rope here. I kind of like using this one for these. You can step back a little further, grab down lower. So what you're doing, you're arching your back, arms are locked, pulling straight through with the lats. Big stretch, all lat isolation, no tries. See the S curvature in his back? I don't feel this in my tries at all. right here, right? This is one of the best lifts to focus on your lats. There you go, lean in just a little bit more. There you go. Getting a big stretch, just targeting his lats right there. You can see it straight through the shirt. I love working out with trainers who know what they're doing. You know, he's got 70 clients, IFBB Pro. He's taking me through a little bit different than what I would normally do, so I love that. You guys know variation is key, right? Your muscles start to adapt over time, switch it up. Corey's allowing me to do that today. Give him a little more tension. There you go. I like it. Yeah. Uh, there one you more. Go. One more. Pull. Good. Uh, yeah. The back is one of those muscles that takes a little bit yeah. to really think through that contraction. Oh, yeah. Right? Because otherwise you're pulling, you feel it in your arms. Yeah. But when you run a pull, and I know you. You pull with your elbows. Yep. 
and you start to see little intricacies. Yep, that's a good point because when you first start out, I remember there was years when I was like doing all kinds of back movements and I was using no back at all. Right. You're not contracting your back with clients all the time. You kind of just tap them and let them feel it and they can squeeze those elbows back. That's a good, that's a good, so you t tap them where they're supposed yeah, to feel it. Yeah, it really helps. Even on chest, just kind of tapping it. Right. They feel where they're supposed to squeeze at. I'm going to show you a little stretch to do. This is a stick mobility. You can do a lot of workouts and stretches with this. So try this one out. You're going to do your palms open above your hips and you're going to swing all the way around each side, palms out. Stretch your back out, hold it for about 15 to 20 seconds. Feet forward. So I'd imagine for those people that don't have that, they could do a broomstick if they have. Yeah, you can do a yeah. broomstick at home for yeah. sure. Palms are gonna be out. You wanna put it above your hips, so lower. So you're gonna bring it down there. Hey, hey, there there it is the first time for everything. Make your right. hands even. Yep. And then you're gonna swing just like you're coming down like that. Ooh. There you go, feeling your lower back good. Yep. For the people that are watching, why? Why stretch in between? Yeah, you need to as do it. As opposed to before and after. I'm sure you probably I, do a little bit. I do a little bit before and after too, but yeah. this can kind of help break down your muscles a little bit in between sets. Yeah. Probably help you get a couple more reps actually. Got it. Instead of getting so tight. So what we're going to do on here is an underhand row. Six right. Six left. and then six down the middle. BCAs taste good. Let me grab us a bar. All right, so we're gonna do fat grips. What it does, gives you a fatter grip and it really isolates your buys and your forearms. Okay, a lot of you know what 21s are. I do them this way, we go seven half. Ow. Six, I've never supersetted back seven. and biceps before. Okay, we do the top half seven. It's that top of the peak. All right, now all the way. Here we go. We're gonna do some dumbbell rows a little different. When you go heavy, you use a belt. Yeah. Normally, you would do your traditional dumbbell row leaning in. We're gonna come feet together, come at an angle. Oh, I we're like gonna it. gonna squeeze back. Interesting, I like it. So it's all about hitting the right angles on Working these. Working that rear delt a little bit too, hey? Yeah. yeah. Dumbbell curl, we're gonna go 10 to 12 reps. Instead of straight up, we're gonna come angled. So you're gonna squeeze across. Turn in, squeeze across. You're gonna feel way better contraction when you do these. It's gonna work on his head and bring out the three dimension right there. There you go. Let me get my grips for this to wrap it around. Nice and tight. I already feel stronger. All right, so I know they're wondering, post-workout, what does an IFBB Pro do post-workout? Yep. I keep all my containers with me, ready to go, blended up. I'll show you guys what we do. Let's go. All right, so we're gonna put about eight ounces of water in here. What I do is I have a scoop of vanilla Morelli Fit, scoop of chocolate, I like mixing it. It's my little thing. Scoop of detox, and then on the top, I have a scoop of creatine. 
always trying to stay full. And actually, I don't need glutamine because we have five grams in the way. So you actually do, so you do 26 grams of protein because you do one scoop of vanilla, one scoop of chocolate. Yep. You've got your, your superfoods. Yep. Your creatine, and it looks like you do a, you eat a banana? Yeah, I eat a banana. So what's the banana for? It's for me, I just like to use it as my potassium and kind of to spike my insulin post-workout. Uh -huh. So it seems like it keeps me from cramping up and stuff too. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to do the banana, but I take in a lot more carbs than most people. So Let's yeah. say it's the opposite of you, right? Yes. They have trouble. Uh, losing body fat yep. after a workout like this, would you recommend a banana? Or I would you? say probably don't do the banana because yeah. you're going to be on a lot more lower of a carb diet and definitely just stick with the water. Sometimes I'll do a little almond milk, but good thing is these mix great in the water, so good to go. So why do you do? So why do you feel it's important to bring the supplements with you and get it in right away? Uh, I like to get the protein in right after the workout within 10 minutes, so it's going right to the muscles and punishing them. Instead of waiting until I get home, you know, your muscles are starving right after a workout, so you need to chug your shake and get it right in there. So then do you do a meal? How long would you do, how long after this would you do your next meal? Usually you want to have your shake and wait about 45 minutes and then have your post-workout meal. You guys, make sure you give Corey, Corey Upton a follow on Instagram. Um, we're going to be doing Thursday workouts. They all go onto YouTube, the Morelli Fit channel. And uh, I'm excited for you, man. I'm excited too, man. Yeah. Thanks for bringing me on board. Appreciate the knowledge, brother. Yes, sir.